I was talking to uh, a woman named Sister Rose. She's over the ministry, uh, the outreach ministry at our church. And she said she was praying for a woman. And the moment she touched her, she felt the anointing of God. And she, so she moved her hand because the lady, you know, clearly was on drugs and she was homeless. And, you know, and so she said she reached out for her again and she felt the Holy Spirit like like electricity. And she said she asked the woman, um, who are you? And she said, oh, my name is Maria. She said, no, baby, who are you? The woman started crying. She said, I'm an anointed prophet of God. And I had traveled the world ministering to with preachers and God was using me greatly. And I used to have a crack addiction. And so I felt like I should at least go back to the crack house and pray. And when I went there and smelled the crack, I wasn't strong enough to deal with it. And so I've been on the street, she said, but I know who I am. And she started talking to the people, the other homeless people on the street and tell them, y'all, I know who I am and this is not who I am. I'm an anointed prophet of God. Even in her low place, she knew who she was. You do not forget who you are just because you chose to walk away from God or the enemy stole you or the enemy, whatever he did to trick you and get you out of the hands of God's call. Your call is your call and God doesn't change his mind just because you did. God doesn't change his mind when you fall. He doesn't change his mind when you fail. That is why we have mercy and grace. That's, that is why the word says repent daily because he knows what we're capable of. He knows the, compa the capacity of the human that lives on this earth. But let me tell you, no matter where you are, God still has an amazing call on your life. You are still a man or woman of God. You are still chosen by God. Get up, dust, the, get the dust off and move forward. All right. That is my Erica-ism for the day. I wish I could meet that lady.